Welcome, 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 welcome. Hey, you there. Hey, I, you, the one that's me. <laughs> welcome back. You, know, you want to know what this is? This is the City Podcast. This is episode 220. So, you know, if you've already joined us, it's okay. You know, we're, it's not your fault. We're horrible at this. <laughs> so, you know. And you're asking, well, who are you? Well, well we introduce ourselves. We're the hosts. I'm Tony, and he is... Roman. There you go. So, you know, you want to know about the podcast? It's a shitty podcast. It's... <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I mean... It, it's just two dudes living life the sad way. Pretty much. <laughs> Fucking... Uh, we were talking a little bit before the, the podcast. And, of course, uh, you know. Yeah, because we're professionals and we, we, we had to check the equipment. Yeah, exactly. Uh, not really. We just fucking always. It's it's always easy yeah. just to talk, but then we got to make this entertaining. But. Um, <laughs> no, no. Or try. Try to make it entertaining. Um, yeah. Like a, a, few, a few things. Like I'm starting like the, a new phase of my job, which is just like uh, with electricians work. I was pretty much like material bitch for like a, an entire year, and now like I'm doing. I get I get sent to another site, and I'm having to do you know real electricians work, and man, it's been kicking my it's just been kicking my ass. Like, uh, I think I counted. Uh, I had been at work because work starts at seven. Uh, by about nine thirty, even a little before then. Uh, I had gone up, uh, up and down three flights of stairs, uh, no less than ten times. But does does the heat have to do with anything? Like I mean, the atmosphere. Are you working in an AC environment? Tell me, tell I, me the environment. I mean, the environment. Oh, well, first of all, it's it's a building for one of the the uh, community colleges here in town, mm. so. Uh, it's already up, you know, and it's already covered, so, you know, we're not really exposed to the elements too much. Um, mm -hmm. of course, there might be just, like, some dripping here and there, but for the most part, like, as far as, like, being wet, not really, unless, like, we have to go out to the connex or something. But, um, mm -hmm. it's not even, it's not necessarily the heat, because, like, you just drink some water... They have fans going, and they have like the like those big ass portable I mean, guys, air conditioners. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you guys are electrical, so the actual you know departments AC working, right? Well, no, like we just supply power. So like we mm -hmm. have temporary power like throughout the building. The actual mm -hmm. like contractor uh, takes care of um, anything else that we need. So like. The, our company has like you know fans so we can keep the fans going but the actual contractor has like these like big ass portable air conditioners so it's actually blowing cold air and you know everybody's like you know keeping cool because i mean it's fucking like 95 degrees most days you know what i mean so everybody's fucking covered in sweat i go out for lunch and my entire shirt's just fucking soaked it's just it's just sweat. Like I'm just sweating, like yeah. like my whole fucking shit down. So 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 it's like it's a crossover between hot yoga and work. I'm not like, really yes, not, going... not not really hot yoga. It's it's, no, it's, it's just hot. It's it's, it's just hot. a hot environment. It's just a hot environment. You know what I mean? You're exposed to the elements. Right now it's summer, mm -hmm. so it's just hot and humid. And it's just what so it what's is. Kicking your ass the most is it the ladders that going up and down stairs? Yeah, dude, it's fucking going up and down stairs, going up and down ladders because it's not just like, oh, I'm gonna go up this ladder and I'm gonna do this for a little bit. It's like I should go up this ladder to, you know, uh, drill a hole into the concrete with a hammer drill. So just like, <laughs> all right, cool, and then just drill out all the holes I need and like put up all the conduit that I need. You know, start getting like these, uh, they're called sleeve anchors. They're just like nails. They're, they're basically screws that go into concrete. So, uh, just to like secure boxes and like secure pipe and like everything that's mm -hmm. going on. 
So it's just, it's, it's a lot of different things. And I know very little of it because, like I said, for a whole year at the other site, um, I was just a material bitch. You know, I was just like, hey, we don't have this. Uh, I'm making a list and, like, sending it to go get ordered. Fucking running material, you know, whatever. Um, the the thing with this job is just, like, it's not, now it's actual work. So now I'm having to put whatever I've learned into practice, but I know very little because, again, I haven't been working with a journeyman. And now my journeyman, he's just like, look, I will show you how to do some things if you don't know how to do them. But, and I'll, I'll give you tips here and there. But for the most part, like you gotta fly, you gotta fly on your own. Like you know, we can't, we can't be fucking holding your hands through this entire thing. And I was like, yeah, I get it. So that's the old, way, that's the old generation of learning. Yeah, exactly. Doing, just yeah, doing. just do it. And he's like, they yeah. know, like he's he's higher up. Know they're gonna fuck up, and once they fuck up, that's when they'd be like, hey, exactly. So this how you fucked up. Yeah, don't exactly. Exactly. So yeah, yeah. they don't do it. You don't do enough of that yet. At least, yeah. I don't think so. Well, I mean, again, it's, it's just, it is what it is. Every journeyman kind of has, like, a different way of teaching. Some will, like, explain everything, you know, and, like, help you do everything. This guy's just kind of like, look, you know how to bend a 90 uh, for a conduit? I'm like, yeah. He goes, all right, I need four 90s. Take your measurements. Go do it. Uh, don't worry about, like, how long it's going to take you. Just do it. Stay safe. Like, fuck it. All right. Yeah. And that's basically it. Like, the one thing I've noticed from this job or the other is that, like, safety is, like, actually enforced at this job. At the other one, it was just kind of like, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but, which is weird, because that's the other site that I was at where they didn't care was a government project, because it's a VA hospital. Mm-hmm. And then the one that I'm at is, a, you know, a college building. I think it's I think it's going to be, like, a science lab or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're just like, yeah, just fucking... Like, you can't do anything. If you're not certified for this, you're not going to use it at all. So, that's just it. Um, you're not touching the, the equipment unless you're certified. Yeah, yeah. You're not touching, like, the fucking... You're, you're not going to use a scissor lift. Which, I use scissor lifts all the time at the other job. Yeah, it's like, are you certified? Are you certified? No. All right, you're not using it. So, we get a ladder. And I was like, all right. You know, so, man. yeah, exactly. But okay. it's... Here's a lift. It's it's fun. It, it's it's a different thing. It's just like getting accustomed to the actual work that I knew I was going to do. I just wasn't expecting it this soon because I thought well, I was still going to be at that. Is other. it more mental? Is it more mm. mental or physical? Like I get I get the stairs right. Yeah, but eventually your body's going to get used to mm-hmm. climbing the stairs. Yeah. And safety, he is, you know, which the view kind of plays more because you're afraid of heights. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know if, you, if you're like you're so tired that, you, that doesn't even a factor anymore. And you're like, oh, I'm um, gonna go, or you know how you're in the moment that mm-hmm. your your mind doesn't process. Hey, we're in, we're in danger. Kind I, of deal. I mean, yes and no. Um, I mean, I'm basic. I'm like on a ten footer uh, ladder most of the time, mm-hmm. and you know, I'm I'm fairly tall, so I don't have to get to like the last step to do anything. So, and all the, the ladders are new there, so it's all, like, I know, like, oh, okay, it's a, it's a good ladder. It's like when a ladder's fucking old and sketchy, and it's like, well, fuck it. That's, like, when the fear sets in. It's just like, look, just fucking take your time getting up and down a ladder. Everything we own in my house. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's everybody's house, right? Everything, you know? everything we own in my house, we, we had to try the first two steps. Mm-hmm. Every, like, in the first two steps, if it doesn't break, it's good to go. Exactly. But like these are new, these are new ladders, so you know nothing there, and it's it's just, it's just um, my biggest thing is like, am I doing this right? Because mm-hmm. I would want to know if I'm fucking up in the moment, you know what I mean, or like before I fuck up and like waste like this material or what have you, like I'd I'd rather you know. Be like, am I doing this right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. But it's, but, a, it's, a, it's a teaching job, so yeah. wasting material is part of the education. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Uh, again, it, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But uh, it's it's more just like getting accustomed to it um, physically and, and thinking about what's going on. Like, honestly, you have to, like, you have to look at a blueprint and figure out, like, okay, this is where this goes, so how does this look here? 
and like half of your time is spent looking up like this, you know what I mean? Like looking up at the ceiling and like, Ooh, okay. You gonna have neck problems? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no doubt. But I'm just like this most of the time. Okay, all right. So I'll go from that box to that box. All right. Okay. I'm like, okay, cool. So it, it's literally a lot of that. It's a lot of, like, mental, like, exercise. And then, like, the physical part is just whatever. You know what I mean? The physical part is the physical part. I can get through the physical part. It's, it is, it is I think, more mental more than anything. Can I, ask, can I ask you a big question? I don't know if you're ready to answer. Mm. I don't think you have enough information to answer. Mm. Can you see yourself doing this for, to retire? Is this, is this the one? Is this the, the future of Roman? I don't know. I, I don't know how to answer that. Right now, it, it well, the, th the reason I feel so uncertain is because, like, I don't know anything. You know what I mean? I've mm -hmm. I only know whatever the fucking school taught me. And that's not always well, the fucking case. Well, here's the thing. You're, you're, what, you're two years in, right? Uh, I'm a year in, technically. You're a year in? Yeah. Technically. Yeah. How long more do you need to know before you find out this is not for you? I don't know. Maybe maybe it's this year where I figure out like, oh, mm, I don't know if I if I if I'm able to do this. But then, yes. I, but I also think like, I don't have a lot of time to be fucking. That was gonna be my next thing. Trying like me, you ain't no spring chicken no more. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like you, like this is where I think it's like you're supposed to have a job for at least a good fifteen years, right? Mm -hmm. Pay yourself up with a four hundred one k, some kind of retirement mm -hmm. plan. You know, really put your heels into the job. And you can't be doing that if every two years you got to start something new. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's just next, like... Next, at, thing, next, next thing you know, you're 40, and you're like, fuck, well, what am I going to do to when I'm 50, dude? Yeah. You, like, can't be starting up that fresh. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. is like, at this point, do I like it? Yeah. Can I see myself doing it? I have no idea. Like, I'm sure there's going to be days where I'm just like, fuck, I don't want to do this. But, I mean, that's a job, right? Can you see, can you see yourself as a foreman, though? Because right, that's, that's, where, that's where it goes. That's the next level. I, In a foreman? I don't know. Foreman? I don't know if a foreman's worth it. Because it's a lot, it? It, it's a lot more responsibility for fucking nothing. Mm. Like, it, it's, so, it's like the the... the difference between a, um, a a difference between a journeyman and a foreman is maybe like maybe four dollars it's not a lot it 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 is it is but then you have to think you have to think like okay i am uh i now have a crew that i have to keep on top of so it it depends on, on what type of foreman you are. Are you a general foreman? Because a general foreman makes a lot more money, but a general foreman is like taking care of everything for that fucking job site, right? And then there's it's on you. What do you want to become? I don't know. You, like I I I don't know. I might. I don't know if I have the brains to become like a fucking electrical engineer. You know what I mean? What about what about a uh, Roman electrical? It's a possibility. It, it's a possibility that I can, um, that I can transition into like more of the desk job area of that. I don't know if I like that, but maybe it's like at a certain point I'm like, yeah, I want to transition to that. So it could be that like I'm a fucking you know just a grunt journeyman forever, and. Then I mean, a lot of people do. A lot of people just like this is what I'm gonna do today. Yeah, they know it. They know what they have to do. They know when they're clocking, when the clock out. They know when the vacation time's coming. They know how much they get paid already, and they set their life to that. Yeah, but and, and the question and, is: is that, is that enough for you? Though? Is that can you see yourself being okay with that? I think I can. I think I can because, yeah. like, th there is there is a certain satisfaction knowing that like oh i did that you know what i mean there's a certain satisfaction that i even though it being very simple like i bent four pipes i bent four 90s essentially right mm -hmm. and then just looking at it and being like oh shit i did that that's cool 
You know what I mean? And he's like, get these four pipes. They run here, here, and here. Just connect them. They're all good. And I was like, okay, cool. Now, is there a lot more to learn in terms of, like, how I have to do certain things? Yeah, yeah, there's a ton that I have to, like, remember. But it seems like, honestly, it seems like ele uh, electrician's work isn't very hard. It can be dangerous, but it's not hard. It is? Yeah, well, I have a brother that used to be an electrician. Mm -hmm. And I used to see him do with the households. Run the lines through the two by fours, put on the, the plugs, the ceiling wires, uh, and the switches, right? And I was like, man, I've, it doesn't look that hard. And so I tried it myself, mm -hmm. and, I, and I started melting the box. And I looked up the wrong wire to yeah. the ground. And then it caught on fire, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and, and, you know, the, and then if you don't have it connected to a um, breaker box, you don't fucking know that you, you know, it's hot. Mm -hmm. You see, start seeing the smoke coming out. And my brother's like, it's not as easy as it looks, man. Yeah, I, it looks like if you're running, like, three, four wires through a wall, but there's mm -hmm. more to it, you know? Yeah, yeah, and but but that's the thing. Same thing with like... the car. Same thing with the car. Mm-hmm. I thought I was like, yeah, I can connect a fucking car radio. I seen my brother do it a whole bunch of times, and I tried it. Dude, I blew the shit out of my car. Like, it wouldn't turn on. He's like, what would you do? He's like, I got a fucking idea. Like, I tried to put on the car radio, <laughs> and then we had to change every single fuse in the car because I crossed the wires that I shouldn't be crossing. Yeah. And I was like, wow, it would look so fucking simple. And again, he hit me. He's like, electricity looks simple, but if you get Leaks one wire wrong, one. Mm -hmm. You're fucked. You fucked the whole thing. You're, yeah, yeah, but that again, that's part of the fucking. That's part of the job. Like towards the end of the job, like, yeah, you don't know what happens until you fucking turn on the power for that particular circuit. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it, smells, it smells like burnt wire. Where's that coming and, from? And yeah, sometimes, <laughs> some, sometimes you're gonna hear a pop, and you're gonna hear you know fucking sizzle, and you might see some smoke. That's kind of what it is, but that's, I mean, that's part of construction, really, because there's so many people that are working on this job that it could be your fuck up, but it's also you could have to fix someone else's fuck up. And that's just kind of yeah. the, the nature of the beast. Now, the thing is, like, I don't know. I don't know if I, because it, it's a possibility that I'm just like, you know what? I'll start my own company. Yeah, maybe it'll be fucking Roman's Electrician. You know what I mean? Or Roman Electric. Roman it, Electrical. Roman Electrical. There you go. So, like... It, it, well, it, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me mm -hmm. tell you something. I don't know if it's going to hurt your feelings. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's going to hurt your feelings. Yeah, yeah. But out of the group of homies that we have, mm -hmm. like, the, the brothers and, and the brands, uh -huh. you are the least person that I see with ambitions to be a leader. No. You are... Yeah, yeah. You, you are, like... Take John, mm -hmm. even Eric. Mm -hmm. like, I want to be management sometime. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to run a store or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you, since I met you, you're like, as long as I have work, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. And you, if you said it time and time, it was like, I don't want to take care of people. What the fuck? Yeah. I want the responsibility that if they fuck up, it's on me because, you know, I couldn't teach them more. I didn't tell them what to do. Or, you know, even when you work at the comic book shop, mm -hmm. I, I used to go, hey, man, room, why don't you, like, do this, that? Like, like promote like what you're reading, like because it's like ah, I don't want that because you know I read a certain niche or I like certain books that not many would like. Yeah. And then remember I mean when that's that's you, different. That, that's that is a different situation that because different. Uh, like it's, it's that's a confidence like thing. Like, when it comes to like I I get it I because you, you're I, not. I used to I used to tell you why don't you throw your card in to become manager, uh, manager of, of the comic area. And you're always like, I don't want that responsibility, man. It seems like a lot, a lot of work for, for nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like I have to do a lot of work. I'm cool just going away the comics and helping people out. It, it's yes, and and you're not the only person that's really said that. Like, uh, th there was uh, specifically a good guy, uh, who plays Warhammer, um. He was, I was saying, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm starting this thing. He's like, why why did you want to do that? Like, why did you want to do construction work? And I was like, well, honestly, it's just like, 
I like working more than just kind of sitting at a desk and like I that's the reason you throw away your education yeah so like it's it, it's it, I like that and he's just like you just don't seem he, he said maybe it was just sound like nicer than what he meant he was just like you seem too smart to be working there and I was like uh, I mean I th thanks I guess it's just do I have the, the thing is can I lead yeah do I want to lead no I'd, I'd rather I'd really would rather be a, like in the background well, that's the biggest fucking difference it doesn't matter yeah. if you can lead it doesn't matter if you have the talent to mm -hmm. lead that you want to yeah that is like the biggest fucking mm -hmm. difference in the whole world is like can you step up to the plate when it needs to be set up? you're like eh, I'm okay with being back here no, but that's the thing. Like, can I step up? Yeah. And have I stepped up? Yes. Like, I can step up to be a leader. I can do that. It's you know, just, like it. but I don't want. I don't. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like telling it's people. Weird, though. I, I I don't like telling people what to do. Is, is just the the, sh the short and sweet answer to it. And and that I, yes, I know you're gonna say like, but that's not it. That's not what being leader. No, is. no, 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 no. But no. it's another thing. The other thing I know that you're not. You're not persuaded by a by by greed. You don't have greedy ambitions. No. You are like I'm okay with, with what comes my way. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people, they look at you. You're 33, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, I should be this, and I should have that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And and they they fucking claw it out to get to a bigger position of work or to have all the money they need, mm -hmm. right? Because they want the fancy new car or the new house or even the wardrobe or fucking you know, whatever, you know? There's a lot of things that people like. But you, sir, are one that he's like, I don't care. I don't care what I wear. I have clothes? Cool. I don't care what I drive. Does it get me to work? Yeah. All right. I don't care where I live. I have a house over me. That's good. I don't care what I eat. Even when you're fucking keto, you're like, as long as they have fucking... Some kind of lettuce and meat. I don't care, dude. Yeah. And we used to be like, hey, man, where do you want to go? He's like, wherever. And we used to be like, no, because, we, you know, you're going to start that. It's like, I really don't fucking care. If I can't eat there, cool. If I can't, no worries. No. I, I, mean, never, <laughs> see, I never see, have, I never seem to have greedy ambition like the rest of the world has. Where money drives them. Yeah, no. Like, you know, money, well, cause, cause money it, is always the last like thing. Because it was like that you would have kept your computer security job you had. Yep. You would have kept the fucking telemarketer job you had. Mm -hmm. You were miserable when you had the most money, which is fucking funny. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, so for the longest time, like, when you used to work at the comic strip, you're like, fuck, I don't have money. I, mean, I can't, you know, buy food or shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. And you had a crappy truck. You're like, oh, man, I want a new car. Mm -hmm. So you got this nice job that gets you your fucking money. And you've had money, but it was a soul-killing job where you're just there in front of a computer answering phones, right? Mm -hmm. But your bankroll was fucking fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I got money, but I don't want to fucking do anything. It's just so fucking out of it. Yeah, I, like, for, first weird. of all, like, it's it's odd because, like, I paint so much. Like, now, and, not like before, before. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, but, like, you know, I I, ge I generally like just sit down and like do different things at a desk, but sit like actually working at a desk. Like some people can do it. Like some people can actually like they enjoy their job. You know, kudos to you. I can't do that. I feel no sense of accomplishment. And at the end of the day, that's what I want. I want like a sense of like I've done something, not necessarily oh, that. You did that. You've been there. Exactly. Yeah, because like, yeah, money has never been a fucking thing for me. Like, I I could give two shits about money. Like, would it be nice to have extra money? Fuck yeah, it's it's always nice. But I'm not going to. Like I'm. Like I'm not gonna. Overwork myself, so I just so I can get a, a few more dollars. 
because my free time means more to me. Because my free time means that I get to do something that I actually want to do. I understand that a job isn't necessarily something that you love, like like to do. Even if you like your job, you're not always going to like it. You know, and even like the whole that bullshit phrase about like, you know, you never work a day in your life if you do something you love, and it's it's horseshit. It's still work. It horseshit doesn't it doesn't matter it it doesn't matter if you if you love it. It's still work. And it's yeah. still going to suck. Like, it's still going to suck. Because you know, because eventually the responsibility takes away the love. Remember, think of, think of the way when you were doing commission. You mm-hmm. love painting. Yeah. But when you put a timeline, when you put rules behind the, the hobby or the stuff you love, you start falling out of love with it. Like, if you see something, you're like, oh, I can't, I can't paint it this way because the customer wants it a certain way. Mm-hmm. Or you can't take your time because the customer wants it, like, fucking fast. Like, yeah, if, if, like, I need this two, three weeks, and you're like, man, if it was my shit, I would put more time, more love into it. I would choose different colors, or I would do this and that. And you can't. So eventually, it's, you're like, I don't like this. Yeah, I when, don't like when, it for work. And and that's the thing is like, if you put too much restraint on me. I then it's that's when it becomes a job and that's when I like that that's that's why with you know uh, one of my friends Caesar um, who helps John run the league and stuff I mean, I'm, I'm sure you met Caesar already um, mm-hmm. the um, he was talking about like the some figures I was painting and I remember specifically I was just like I'm not excited to paint these because I think he wants them this way and then I said, I just kind of said, fuck it. I'm going, because I can always not, you know, I, I can always uh, add more paint and just go over it. You know what I mean? It's not a big deal. So I just said, like, look, this is what I'm doing, and I'm adding color where I think it needs to be. And he's just like, then he was just like, oh, shit, yeah, do that, because I like that. And that, that gives me satisfaction, because I'm like... I, at this point, I kind of know for myself what looks good. Now, people can disagree with me on, like, how it looks. Uh, if it looks good, then that's fine. But to my eye, I'm kind of like, oh, okay, that pops, that pops, that pops. Okay, that this is where I want the attention to be drawn. So, like, yeah, when, I, when I have the freedom good. to do that, that's when I have a lot of fun. And that's why I do appreciate, like, this... Uh, journeyman he's just like look this one needs to be done if you have any questions go ahead and answer but I'll, I'll answer them but for the most part you're on your own and i'm like cool because i can work i can work by myself you know what i mean i have no here's, problems with here's that. the thing though with, with doing what you love as work mm-hmm. the moment you start feeling burned out or the moment you need a break guess what you can't take it because then you don't eat or right? your bills don't get paid you mm-hmm. can't be like you know what, I just, I can't right now. No. And then you start forcing yourself to do it. And once you start forcing yourself to do it, your outcome becomes sloppy and not as great as when you started off because you love doing it. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, it starts taking the lust away from whatever. Yeah. Whatever you're doing. Photography, I mean, painting, art, fucking anything. Because the moment you're forced... To make the decision that today I have to do it, mm-hmm. it stops being fun. At least I'm guessing. Um, I mean, for me, it's a little bit different. Like with the painting, it's like if you put too many restrictions on me, then I get bored. Like I don't want to do it. But if you're saying like, look, if, if what I like is for people to trust me and just be like, look, I, I like what you did. Um, I specifically kind of, I, I at least want these colors. I'd be like, cool, you know what? I know exactly what you do with those colors. Um, is there anything specifically that you want that I have to like incorporate? And they're like, yes, just this. I'm like, cool. I, but when you start saying like, I want this, this color, this, this color, this color, this color, and I want it this way, this way, and this way, and this way. I'm like, fuck, like now, now I'm just doing a checklist. And I don't like that because, like, as stupid as it sounds, like, this is art. Like, it it, it may be, like, 
Some people may call it a low form of art, or maybe I'm painting by numbers kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, oh, I know that color goes there because somebody else did it that way, so I'm going to put that color there. Uh, and and it's, it's true to a point, but, like, I still fuck with different colors that I like and doing things like that. And if, if somebody has... I, I just want... I would just love... Different techniques and shit. Yeah. And that's that's what I, I like. I like that people like the the people that I that I paint for are my friends, and they're like, I I trust you to just do what you need. I need I need it to look this way, sort of. And you're like, all right, cool, I can do that. Like if you, if you trust me enough to just do, uh, if you trust me en enough to just like trust my own brain, then we're good. And and that's what I do no, like. I don't think I could ever have a business where my bills are relied on or mm -hmm. if I have to eat mm -hmm. with friends. Mm -hmm. Because once money becomes a factor, it gets ugly. I always yeah. say that you, you, can't, you can't work with friends. You can't work with friends. You can't work with family. Because no matter what, no matter what, if they stop you from having your meal or paying your bills, mm. if the, you're going to fucking do something that you later I'm going to regret. That you wouldn't put yourself in that position if they weren't working for you. Yeah, yeah. And, and like, that, even when I used to sell cards and shit, I used to be like, "Man, if you guys want to just take it, I'm gonna sell it to you." Yeah. He's like, "Why?" Because once money, like, once coming money comes a factor, then I have to be like, really, say I go ahead and take the cards now. Yeah. And he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna pay." Cool. A week goes by and and they don't pay. You're like, "Oh, fine, you know, whatever." Mm -hmm. And then you start seeing them that they, they, they bought this and they bought that and they still haven't paid you. Yeah. And you're, and you're like, fuck. And then it comes to a time where you're like, oh, I need money. So now you have to be the asshole that goes ask your friend, mm -hmm. hey, man, where's the, stuff, where's the money from the stuff I sold you? And no. you're like, oh, you know what? I don't got it right now. So he's like, really, dude? It's been like two, three weeks and, and you still can't. Pay me for the stuff. He, he still he took the cards, you know. Yeah. It, it just gets ugly. It does. It does. Or could you imagine telling someone, "Hey, man, you fucked up," and you have to be like that stern boss. You're like, "Hey, man, yeah, you fucked up. I need you to fix it." Or guess what? I'm gonna have to talk to your pay. Mm -hmm. Or you cost me material. He's like, "You're like really." So to them, you stop being a friend. You become boss. And you yeah. Never like your boss. I don't care how friendly you are with your boss. You never like him. You don't, because you, you, you can you can be you can, see, like, you can be friendly with them, but you're not friends yeah, with you, them. Yeah, yeah, because you, it, that little that line of trust kind of gets wavy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just you know setting those boundaries. Because look, if you're a friend, right, mm -hmm. and you call into work just to fucking play hooky, mm -hmm. there's a way you're gonna find out. You're like, really, dude? Mm -hmm. It's and if, I don't know, there's so many fucking corners that get cut and shit when you work. You know, you don't, as a friend, you know, like, I don't want to fuck them over, right? But they yep. get to call out shit like that. It just never, I, I made a, a thing in my life not to work with family or friends. I want money to evolve. Yeah. I, I can see that. I, 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 I've, I've seen I, a, lo a lot of like, if I have a video game or a card you want, sure. Like, whatever. I usually leave it with, like, you know, just do whatever you want. I don't care. Mm -hmm. But it's usually stuff that I put up that I don't care for them. Yeah. But, yeah, it gets, it gets messy. It does. It does. And, uh... So, how long would you give... How long would you give yourself before you decide to say... What, what more do you need to see? Like, if you have to take on a project on by yourself, then be like, okay, I I have the education and the know-how to do it by myself without. I even I have thinking to, of I have to feel up. that I'm that it's it's sinking in, because yeah. like, uh, like, like she just becomes second nature. Yeah, like, do I like understand like the concept of like, uh, this has to go here, this has to go here, this has to go here, and now I see it, and I'm like, okay, that. I can do this way, I can do this way, and then, like, look at the blueprint, and just be like, alright, so, I could probably do it this way instead. Like, as soon as I, if, if it, fe if it feels like I'm 
I'm understanding it. Because, like, the thing is, like, I don't want to be a shitty electrician. Like, who the fuck wants to be, like, some... Who wants to be shitty at, their, at like, a job? You know what I mean? Like... Oh, I'm, I'm just getting a paycheck. Yeah, so, yeah that, that, and, and that's true. But, like, for me, like, I don't want to be... Just, I don't want to be just, like, some fuck-up. You know what I mean? Like, where you can't trust me to do shit. Right. And, and I, yeah, I guess so. Like, I've always, like... I've always been about the job, like, you know what, like, I may fucking hate this, uh, or, like, I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it, and I'm, I'm not going to, like, fuck around with it, you know what I mean? Maybe when I had less responsibility, I was more, you know, kind of like, that's eh, fine, whatever, but, you know, you get older, you got, you got to make sure some, some bills get paid, you know what I mean, like, like, now, now, you know, I'm fucking 33 now, there's... I, there, there's, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, like, halfway through my life already, so, you know, it's just kind of, like, what it is, I have to really focus on this kind of shit, so, fuck it, like. You know, while, while, while we're in the age thing and mm-hmm. shit, do you have a timeline for yourself? No, no, not you at all, because, like. You married by 40 and a kid by, like, 38 or whatever. I mean, I would. Like, do I have a time frame? No, no. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, everybody has time on their head. Like, not like all by this day, but you mm-hmm. know, general. Oh shit! Like by thirty-five, I want to have a girl. Uh, by thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. I, I want to be married at least with a kid. Kind of deal. It's not that I. It's, like if, it, it would. It's so just. It, it would. It would be established. You know, I guess work. my list is. It. It's a. It would be nice list. Is what it is. Like it would be nice. Right, let me, let me hear it. it would. Let me it would. Hear, like it would, it, nice. it would be nice to have like. Age, age I, honestly, honestly. Oh, come on, be honest. It, if it's by the time I'm forty, I would like to have my own home and a family. So by the time I'm forty. Okay. And and that's pretty much it. Like. Now, what do you consider your family? Wife and kids. Yeah, a, a wife. A, a, a wife would be nice, but if it's just a girlfriend, then fuck it, it's a girlfriend. Is it, like, I'm not like beholden to like, oh, it's it's marriage or like, I'm not like it, it's marriage or nothing kind of thing. It's just mm-hmm. you know so, somebody that, that I'm able to 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 look at and not hate and you know fuck. To share life with exactly. Um, hey, you want you want to share life exactly and and have uh, a house you and. Want- you might have it paid off by forty, or just still chunking out of it. Either, either way, like that, it doesn't matter. That would not matter to me. Like to have a, to have a, a fully paid off house by forty, that would be sweet. If I'm still paying for it, that's also fi- that's fine. Like it's, the, and that's the thing is that I'm I'm okay with a lot of fine things. You know what I mean? Like I know a lot of people have like these like. Uh, these greater ambitions and it's just kind of like all that shit's just there you know what i mean like a house is there it i i live in it it's where i sleep i cook my meals and like i enjoy doing some shit that i want to do right and it's yeah, nice to have, have that house <laughs> yeah but it's not like i i've never been the material dude like if, honestly mm-hmm. think about it like have you seen me like crave the newest fucking hottest thing for anything clothes mm. cars not really. fuck not like there's very few things like but not, video games i'm kind of like oh shit game. i want to i want a new fucking video game but, I mean, because we, we, we couldn't get it you're like oh well, exactly well, and, and that's well, and that is the that is the thing know. if i can't in, get it then that's group, fine in our group no one's like that no one has to have the baddest the greatest the yeah newest. if it comes our way cool Exactly. Not, oh, it's because we're poor, though. And that's that's true. <laughs> but even if I had money, like what the fuck, I I would just like buy more fucking Warhammer shit because that's you that's know, like my hobby. Something I ever wanted was like with money. It was like okay, hey, let's go out to eat, and I could cover everybody's bill without having to sacrifice payment or be like, oh man, guess what? Tomorrow I can't eat. I like that. That's yeah. where I want. Like, I don't. I don't care for the money. 
as long as I can comfortably pay the bills and have enough paying for a meal with everybody, mm-hmm. then well, I don't have to worry about, oh, shit. Do I have to, you know how you have to count yeah, or if, check your accounts like a couple of times? Nah, it's like, just like, how, how much is it? How, how much is it? Yeah, here you go. Like, don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, I just want yeah. to be like, oh, hey, guys. I'll be like, hey, guys, what? I have it. Yeah. It's on me today. And that's the thing. It's like, I'll... And you're like, they're like, you're sure? Sure. Not even, no seconds. I'll be like, I got this. That's where I want to get with it. Mm-hmm. Now, in your, is it nice list? You have kids by 40? I'd have at least one. Yeah? I w- you I want w- little Romans running around? I want at least a little Rome, Roman or little Ramona, you know, running around. Ramona? Like yeah. that's 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 nice to me. Okay. Um, so by forty, a house, someone to share life with, and a little bit, a little you could run around. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. I, I would be con- right. I would be content with that. Uh, does uh, work may- maybe not content, matter? but I mean, does work matter? Does um, work matter? As long what else matters by forty? As long as I'm fulfilled with work, as long as like at the end of the day, I feel like I did something. Because that's, that's the, mm. like, I don't know why that's the most important thing to me. I don't know, like, where that came from, but, like, you know, when you look back at your day and be like, I did something today. I, I like that. Mm-hmm. Like, I like that feeling. I don't like the feeling of, like, what would you do today? Fucking nothing, bro. Every once in a while, that's, that's cool. Every once in a while, it's just like, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Like, I just, like chilled i maybe watched some tv and that was it like that's fine like a waste day, right? but like a waste but day. because of fucking anxiety and depression like that seems like i should be doing more with my life so it's more just like am i satisfied with my day and with if whatever my work is am i satisfied with the day then i'm i'm good with that do opinions of others Fuck, no. they, they can all suck my dick. No, I do I not get, something, man. Like at at no, this bro, point, because because we we had gone through this, we had gone through this where we were like, oh, I think I care about um, people's opinion of me more than I thought, and that was true. No, no, and, not, and, not and, you, but of the work you do. Um, you doesn't matter. The way you look, the way you act, yeah. the way you are, doesn't matter. But your work. Yes, you, yes. I, I want people to say, like, he, what, whatever I do, that he's good at it. No matter, no matter what there's my two, job is, I want somebody to say, like, you can trust that guy. That's what I want. There's two things that a guy instilled me with work, mm-hmm. right? One of them was running around the neighborhood, uh, not the neighborhood, around the city. Mm-hmm. And my mom, my, my pops and my brother showing, like, hey, look, we built that house. You see that house? We did that. You see that building? We helped do that. You see this this place that it's like full stores. We're the ones that used to work, at, right? I used mm-hmm. to love doing that. Like my older brother and my dad, we used to go uh, on the weekends to go to the flea market and stuff, mm-hmm. and we used to swing by, you know, his constructions. Like, hey, you see those beautiful houses right there? You think they're pretty? It's like, yeah. Like we did that. Yeah. Like our hands did that. Our hands created that. And then my dad used to talk about how. In the late 60s, early 70s, when he was working construction, San Antonio was so small. Mm-hmm. It, it was so small. And he's like, you see this? This wasn't here when, when I got here. But I built that and that and that. That that was awesome. I was still like that. I still running around San Antonio. And they're like, hey, man, your dad did that. Mm-hmm. And then when my dad passed away, one of the best feelings I got was like, hey, man, you know, no one's going to be like your dad. Because his work spoke for him. Mm-hmm. Even after he was gone, he's like, damn, I can't find someone that does the work like he did. Mm-hmm. Or like, you know what? Fucking the houses that everybody else was doing, mm-hmm. they were kind of withering, but at your dad's house is still standing because, you know, he put that extra work in it. He never cut corners. He, yeah. he it might have taken him a little bit extra to do, but, you know, his work spoke for him. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, fuck, well, that's something I want to like. Something that yeah. I create, be like, yes, he did that. Even when it comes to the show, I know we talk shit about the show, but I'm mm-hmm. like, hey, at least he did it. You know, yeah. like that, that fat guy in the corner that looks miserable, that looks all anxious and depressed. Mm-hmm. Guess what? 
Well, that's, he did a show. <laughs> that's both of us. Hold show. on. <laughs> you got you to clarify. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, with work, that's broke. Right? It doesn't matter what position I'm in. It doesn't matter the money that comes. Hey, more money, better. But when more money comes, more problems. We all know that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I want someone to say, you know what? He did the, he did a very good job when he did it. Mm-hmm. When he created something, and when he worked, his work spoke for him. Even though, you know, we're assholes and shit. Mm-hmm. But I want, like your painting. Yeah. Your, your miniatures. Mm-hmm. I, I loved it when people be like, dude, this is fucking amazing stuff. Yeah. It's like, I can't believe he did it. He's like, I can't believe he did it in the time he did it, too. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, I bet you he, he might like that. But, you know, Roman's a negative Nazi, so who knows? No, it, it feel, yeah. it, for sure it feels good. Like, when I see some... Like, per, what, like personal opinion sucks. I don't give a fuck what they say about me. Yeah. Personally, I look like a piece of shit. All right. I'm an asshole. Cool. But if you're going to hire me for a job, he's like, hey, man, he's the one you want for this job. Yeah. He's the one. That's what I want. Yeah. Kind of hard to get, though. For sure. And that's that's the thing. Like, it, it, no matter what my job is, I mean, it could be this, what I'm doing now. It could be something, you know, in the future um, that I don't, you know, that I don't see myself doing, but I, I end up doing it. It's like you can trust him to do a good job. Like, he's going to do a badass job. That's what I want. Yep. So like that, that, and and that's that's just the, the truth of it. So like, maybe maybe I'm not cut out to be a fucking electrician. It's it's a good possibility, but I'm going to you know do what I can to be to, the best electrician you can be until you're not. Yeah, until you know, it, until I'm proved wrong. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. but, but we'll see. We'll see what happens there. I think, I think you'll get in there more. Uh, you just got to get used to it, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The physical part of it, you'll get used to it. Give me mm-hmm. like another week. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm, I'm, you're going to have a fucking big old fucking yams. Yeah, I'm going to have fucking... Your fucking... Your fucking... Your, your legs are going to be like... Yeah, I'm going to have ass for days. I'm going to be squatting. Yeah. Every... Every... Uh, <laughs> every stair step, I'm going to be doing lunges. So I'm going to get a fat ass. Um, your fucking... Your shins are going to be like steel. And my like, fucking, come, come and kick me, I bet you can. I'm gonna be fucking. My shoulders are gonna be fucking huge. I'm gonna be like, <sighs> your calves are gonna be bulls. <laughs> so yeah, like I'm, I'm not scared of, of the phys, the, the physicality of the job. It's more then, just like, the, will I be able to to recall this information whenever I need it? And then with the heat, you know, they say we might have a long fall, so cold days might be coming. Hey, I'm fine with it. But again, right. like. I don't know. It's it's fuck. It's hot. You're gonna sweat. Fuck it. Drink more water. I don't. I don't know what to tell you at this point. Like there's hey. there's, a, there's a lot of people that complain about the heat and like I cut the grass today. Mm-hmm. Cutting the grass, you know, doesn't take long. It's not like we have a big fucking yard. Fucking cut the grass for maybe it was maybe forty minutes, maybe forty five to cut like the front eat. and the back, and. We're working the grass and doing some shit, mm-hmm. and my brothers hate the heat. Yeah. But I was like, I'm cool with it. I mean, you sweat a little bit, you get used to it. You're like, all right, let's go. Well, I wasn't. Like, sw- I wasn't sweating a little bit. Like my, I was wearing. Oh, I, I had another. Uh, I had another fucking bandana on. It was fucking soaked. My shirt soaked. My shorts pretty much uh, soaked. Yeah. So like, I was sweating, but it was just like, yeah, that's just what fucking happens. It's hot. Oh, you're fucking doing. You're subtle because we know we're fat. Like we the, sweat. We, we, we like we, we we look like we went jump to the swimming pool. Yeah. We don't want to be that. I don't give a fuck. Like that's just what it is. It's fuck. It's hot. I'm fat. Like I I'm working on my fitness, but it ain't there yet. It's fucking. Uh, it's physical. You know, just little. Uh, you know, housework. It fucking. You, know, it, you, you, you sweat. You start. You start right. You bring it out, and you fucking just see your shirt turn different colors. You're like. Oh, it's yeah. that kind of hot. Yeah, exactly. But, like, just drink, oh, some, no. just drink some more fucking water. You're going to be all right. I know that. You need some water. Like the, so water. The only thing is, the only thing that's bothering me right now, right now is, like, the heel of my left foot. Like, that, that's been bothering me. It's, like, uh, sore. Oh, no. So, it's, it, I is guess. The key is done. I guess it's, uh, 
I think it's called plant, plant, plantar fasciitis or something like that. It's just basically, I I, it's basically you just overwork got, your fucking foot. I got fucking bad legs. So I just feed everything. It looks like I'm a beast. <laughs> My legs are fucked up. Well, they're always gonna be fucked up. Well, I've done so much dumb shit to myself. That's true. I was like, I, I was like, I. Like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the skin on my legs is not supposed to be this color, but whatever. I burned them, cut them, fucking. I thought I was a badass, and be like, kick me. Now my shit's all bruised and shit, and I don't take care of myself, so I have all these little cuts and shit. I was like, alright, whatever. I have been wanting I'm to those... do the uh, to ch- ch- deaden my shin, my shins. Yeah. So like you know, kill the nerves right there. Uh, you just basically get like a fucking rolling pin. And like hit your yeah. shins, and then like you know scrape them down. And it's just like, oh, I, I mean, yeah, that's one way to just kill off the feeling, you know, or, or you yeah. know, at, at least like uh, you know, deaden the nerves, like you know, that not have them be as uh, sensitive. Uh, and sometimes I forget that. Cause mm-hmm. Sometimes I'm like, man, why the fuck do my feet hurt so much? Mm-hmm. Then I look down and I was like, oh, that's why. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And I was like. But fuck, man. Oh, man. So your Achilles is done? It's not the Achilles. Uh, it's it's the actual. It's like the bottom of my heel. Um, it's just like oh, sore. Man. That's all it is. So I mean, and the fucking more I walk you on walk it, with a limp? not really. I don't work with the limp yet, but it no. it does hurt. Like I'm just like, I'm basically just like give yourself a strike. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. Here comes Trent Roman. He's like, what's up, the Jays? So, so you get these nine degree angles. Yeah, fuck it. Let's get a thirty degree offset, bitch. Um, but, but yeah, it's just know, it's it, it's just we'll we'll see what happens. I'm I'm not a. Yeah, the future's crazy. Shit, the world could be ending. Exactly. Did you hear that it was fucking snowing in Brazil. No. Snowing in Brazil. Hmm. Ain't that some shit? Well, I mean, the, the, you, the southern well, the earth is fine, but... well, no, like summer, our summer is not the southern hemisphere summer. No, 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 I know that, but they never seen snow. I mean, fucking, we never saw snow from fucking exactly. like eighty-two to here. Global warming is a thing; it's been a thing. No one's fucking changing it, so I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I've seen a lot of shit where nature's fine, but I mean. Eventually, you know? Yeah. Like fucking nature. Mother Nature's be like, I had enough of your bullshit. Yeah, that's Let's cool. Let's go. If it, if, yeah, it, if it kills us off, it kills us off. Can't, I can't I've seen some fucking rowdy uh, I... fucking insects come out of the mm-hmm. woodworks lately. I was like, mm-mm. Not me, Jesus. And then, because I watch a lot of TikToks, I, I watch that animal dude. I was like, man, nature is so fucking fucked up shit. Yeah. And I, I learned what it, and then, Apart from the real nature shit, like the fucking birds that could kill you, or the bears that could kill you, right? Mm-hmm. I dove into the mystical side of nature too. I learned what a knot deer is. What's a, what's a knot deer? It's an animal that is supposed to look like a deer, mm-hmm. but it's misshapen. Like it has longer neck, or his hoofs are huge in the top. Or his horns are messed up. It's it's supposed to be a deer, but it didn't shift right. It's called a knot deer, and it fucks up people. So the legend is of a knot deer is that it's supposed to look a deer, like a deer, so it could attract people or prey. Mm-hmm. And then when you get closer, it stops, it stops you off. You're done. You're done. You 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 know you're going to heaven, right? Okay. You, know, you know what a window is. I do know what a Wendigo is, yeah. Okay, so it was something like that. Okay, all right, fair enough. All right. Yeah. So there's this, this this viral video that was running around mm. of a not deer. Okay. It's something that looks across between a deer, a llama, and an alpaca. It has a huge neck, and it's just fucking weird because there's these uh, couples, they're hiking somewhere. Mm. And she's like, look, honey, it's a deer. And mm. she gets it close, and her husband's like, oh, no. Now, that looks weird. Let's not get close to it. And the moment she goes, look, honey, it's a deer, the, the deer turns to them. Mm-hmm. Some of the freakiest shit I've seen. I, I wish her production was better so I could just hit me here. <laughs> like, look. But then I would have to find it and, you know. Uh, 
it was down a rabbit hole. Yeah. But, I mean... It's just crazy, man. I know Rona's coming up. It's coming back up. Yeah, Rona yeah. Part the, three. The, the, the I forgot what wave we're in. Uh, I guess it would technically be the third wave. Oh, man. Uh, this Delta, Alpha, Gamma, Gamma, fucking Hulk variants are coming up. Yep. They, they're starting to do the whole fear monger thing on the news where even people with the vaccine are getting it. Yeah, but, but so that's... A, that, I mean, that's the thing. Like... I don't know why it's people a, think this is a fucking cure. Like this was never, cure. this like it, cure. yeah exactly it was but a lot of people think that they think that like you get this shot and you're like good to go it's baby I, I'm never right? I'm never gonna get it that's what oh, they think and it's it's not like all though? it's gonna do is just keep you out of the hospital it's it's it it's, it's, it's gonna it's gonna that's fuck you I up thought too. that's what I thought I thought that the, that the vaccine uh-huh. at least you kept you out of the hospital uh-huh. not. There's still people showing up to the hospital when they feel fucked up. And they got the vaccine. I think a person passed away. Uh-huh. And he had the vaccine from the new wave of Rona. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, what the fuck? Like, they're, they're, like, you see everywhere, right? They're pushing the vaccine, like, heavy. Right? And now it's, now, now they want little kids to get vaccinated for school, right? Mm-hmm. And then you're like, you watch the news, like, oh, people with vaccines still getting sick. They're still transmitting it, but they're still passing it around. I was like, "Fuck! What do you do?" I I'm, I'm thankful that my family's vaccinated, right? Yeah. The homies are vaccinated. Mm-hmm. The last homie that wasn't vaccinated, unfortunately, he got Rona right now. Mm-hmm. And but his family's okay, and their family's getting vaccinated. Good. Right. Mm-hmm. But that fear, bro. Like that fear of still going out is it's returning, man. And you're like, oh, well, you're fucked if you do, and you're fucked if you don't, right? Yeah. So but... what the fuck do you do? And and the thing, and the thing, and I know I said it before, and I said, I'm fucking watching the news. Yeah, yeah. Should I should? Cause, hey, that fear monger they do it. Ooh, it, it works. It works. It works, and and, and, and it, it works it, because and, and it gets ratings. So it doesn't. That's I'll, all they care about. I was watching Weeb Olympics because mm-hmm. the, the the guys who are announcing the Weeb Olympics are coming out in cosplay. They're doing Naruto and Demon Slayer. And I'm enjoying the fuck out of that. Yeah, if you're yeah. not watching the Olympics, you I saw a fucking beautiful, beautiful Asian girl mm-hmm. uh, do the archery Olympics. Mm-hmm. I was just in awe. I was like, God damn, why are you so And then, you know, you have the girls that do the fucking... What is that thing? The one with the, the pole? Pole jumping? I think that's what it's called? Pole vault. Pole vault. Mm-hmm. Hey, now, you, 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 you a yams guy? Mm-hmm. That's what you gotta be watching. Them, them girls? Peace. Yeah. Be like, bro, we're liking this. So I'm, oh, for sure. I'm watching, I'm watching the Olympics for all the wrong reasons. I'm I, watching the Olympics, right? I, I'm not watching it. <laughs> I know. I don't know. But sure? I, I have seen, I have seen, like, the... I saw some, some dude dressed as Jiraiya. Uh, from Naruto, yeah. so I was like, "Oh, okay." And then but. they use the like if you're we, you know, some of the theme songs. Mm-hmm. They do some of the entrances for the like the announcements and shit. So I'm trying to catch and see how much weakness I could point out. Fair. You know, if I had money, I would buy some weed. Like you know how they sell it, Olympic soap or whatever, and they have like weave shirt or stuff. Mm-hmm. That wasn't so fat. All right, and I've had money, I would buy some of that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, between watching the Olympics, they they put those breaking news. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rona's on the rise. Yeah, yeah. and and, and don't here... stop wearing your mask. And I think why would people stop wearing the mask? How the fuck do you do that? I I I will say I this mean... that uh one I already lost a year to this fucking thing, and mm-hmm. I'm I'm not gonna lose another year. Like I. I do still wear my mask, you know, to, to places. Uh, I do want to order some N95s, though. I think that'd be yeah. a bit safer. I mean, yeah, what um, you know what? Whatever makes you feel safer. Because, you know, some people just wear a cheapy mask. Some people wear, you know, I cloth masks. Yeah, some people yeah, wear, like, like, this and that. Cool. I have the N95 mask just because that's what, like, my brother does, like, this big order from eBay, and they usually get here. So that's that's what I have. Like, But I just use whatever I have. But the, the thing is, like, I'm fu- I'm just done. Like, you you using them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now here's the thing. Hmm. Here's the thing. 
you think as wave and wave happen, mm -hmm. you start getting used to it, it mm -hmm. becomes just another flu. I mean, but that's we, that's we, kind we, of that's kind of the hope, though. Like the hope is right? that like this is what it, it like. Will it be that? I think everybody's hoping for that. Everybody's hoping like, look, this is just something that can happen. You know, there's an update for the vaccine every, you know, year or what have you. It's, it's like your flu shot. Go ahead and take it. Yeah, so if, come, if, come if you want. Yeah. You know, you know, hey, man, take a mask with you, be mm -hmm. covered or not, like the flu. Yeah. If someone has it, don't fucking get near them. Yeah, exactly. So, like, again, like, but my whole thing is, like, I was one of the ones that took it super serious, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I basically lost an entire year. Like, I didn't do anything for an entire yeah. year. I didn't do more, though. Was uh, it close to two? No, it was probably about a year. Because, like, by... I think by March, I was already vaccinated. So I was kind of like, oh, okay. 2021, though. You started 2019. Yeah, but, we, but I didn't fucking... I was, like... Cases... Things didn't start happening here until, like, Feb like late February. And even then, I wasn't, well, like, really aware... Yeah, yeah, of 2020. Mm -hmm. Like it, it was, it, was, it had been a global thing since 2000, since late 2019 or mid 2019. Mm -hmm. But in the U.S., it really wasn't a thing, or like it wasn't reported as a thing to us. Um, mm -hmm. So I mean, basically from like lockdown to now to when I got the vaccine, I just took it super serious. I didn't go too many places. I was very like I lost I basically lost an entire year and I'm fucking done with it. Like I'm not losing another fucking year. Like I'm just gonna be careful, you know what I mean? I'm gonna wear my mask. Um, but I'm gonna go out now, I'm gonna do things that I had wanted to do and just you know What about people around you? Do you enforce it? They you go out with I, John. I, I know John John's a big I have yeah. a vaccine now wearing a mask. Yeah, for sure. John's like what gung ho. I mean, I again, I can't fucking stop him. I, I'm, and the thing is, like, he he's gonna do whatever he wants to do. I, no, no, but yeah. do you stop going out with him? No. Or do you ask him, like, hey, man, wear your fucking mask? No, no, no. I, I, I can't, I can't tell him to. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just can't because what does it do? He's just gonna say no. I just have to be like, well, all right. Like I'm, I, I'm done. Like just like being like put on your fucking. I'm, I'm, I've never really been like the put on your fucking mask or I'm leaving kind of dude. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not that guy. If you want to wear it, cool. If you don't, cool. I, I'm gonna wear mine. That's it. What about your household? I think my household's the same way. I think we kind no, of no, just I, like I understood. Family, but do, you, do you allow them into your household? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 It's so it's, it's, it's like not a big deal. Yeah. It's done. You, you're for, done with the fear. You're done with it. You're yeah. done with Rona it could kiss your ass. It's not that I I still I still uh I still respect that it's like a, it can it can be a serious thing. Yes. So but for the most part, like I'm just like I'm gonna wear my mask out in public and that's it. Yeah, me too. Like and, and, and that that's just but it. I like, I like I like the whole mask aspect. Yeah, fuck it. Like, like I don't, I don't want to fuck it. Like, I don't, I don't care. I, it's not like I'm fucking better looking. I, I'm better. I'm like better looking whole, with the mask. So fuck it. I like the whole no touching. Yeah, okay. yeah. I've, I've never been. Or an excuse is like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna go back home. Kind of deal. Yeah. Mean, or I can't go out. It's always good to have a, a, a an excuse in the pocket. Not even that. Now, now I'm just done with excuses. I'm just like, yeah, I don't want to go. Fuck it, I'm not doing yeah. it. But speak, speaking I'm... of like not having fear and doing something that is wholly unexpected of me, I actually went to go see a movie this weekend. Oh, you went to the theater? I went to the theater to watch a movie. And this is this on a date or by by yourself? No, no, I was with with uh, some homies, like Brian and all them. Oh, look at that. What'd you go see? We went to go see The Green Knight. Oh, I heard that one was good. Yeah, it's good. It's um, it's visually very, very cool. There's a lot, there's okay. a lot of... And, and you can tell, like, the guy's influence. It's basically... 
because uh, they were running like this thing um, before the movie where it was like the five influences on this film talking to like the director and he was like Bram Stoker's Rock, uh, Dracula was a big one and I was like oh you could totally see it like the color palette like being so like stark and then mm-hmm. like these like uh, different um, forms of like shooting a scene um, like you can definitely tell like the different mediums that he was working with in it um, and then he was like saying like oh like the dark crystal and like these, these all these different movies um, but it, it was a good what movie was the aspect of the movie about it's based it's based on you know the, the like the a King Arthur tale of uh, it's it's I think it's called Sir Garwin and the uh, Sir Garwin and the Green Knight is what it is and basically it's just a tale of like um, growing up you know what I mean um, it's this uh, this aspiring knight that feels that he has no tales to tell, you know, it's all about honor and, like, your adventures, like, telling those adventures to your king and, like, what you've done for him. And uh, mm-hmm. he's just young and, you know, hasn't done anything. So it's just a, a tale about, like, having to let, or having to work through the problems of youth. You know what I mean? Like, fa- facing death, you know, as, as a young man, like, knowing that it's, it's a possibility. Um, facing, you know, lust, uh, facing, uh, trust and like, you know, like trusting others and things like that. So it, it has like all these little like different themes, but it's all, it's all a really good movie. And, and it, it has like, it just like visually like really, really cool. Five star rating. What do you give it? Uh, I'd give it a solid four. I'd give it a, I think it's, I think solid? it's. I, oh, I think it's I think it's too. worth a watch. It is very long though, because it I think it's like a uh, two I think it's a two like hour. Movie. No, no, it's a two hour oh, movie, okay. like a, like a solid right. two hours, because it was ten twenty, and it was um I didn't get out until maybe like maybe a little after like. 10 maybe like 12 45 so it's like a good two hour movie so it, it is a long one it, and it, it does Ooh, it I... does feel it like you do feel like this is this is certainly like kind of a, a long movie um mm. so it, it's still good it's still worth a watch i just don't know if it's like worth like a second viewing for me uh specifically but it was it was a good outing and you know going to fucking Al- uh, animal draft house you know, going to... Ooh, to the house is open? Uh, the n- not, n- yeah, the, the one on Northside. Um, oh, okay. By North Star. Um, not the, the... The one on Westlake is closed down. That one sounds done. How was, but, the, how was the theater experience? Um, I realized that those seats kind of suck because my back was, like, killing me the entire... Well, then again, like, I had been up since, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. I worked. I worked out. And then I went to do that, so... It, it, you had a whole long day. Huh? I had I just had a long ass day. I think that was that was a majority of it, and maybe that's what like why the movie felt so long. It was just a long day, um. But I I still give it a solid solid good stuff, and I had some some of that uh, chips and queso that they have there with that mm-hmm. with that green salsa. So I was like, all right, you cool. even ate some food there. Damn. I I even ate some food there. I was thinking like, should I have a drink here? And I was like, mm, nah, not right now. Well, look at you. I am proud of you. Good job, Roman. So, yeah, like, when, when it comes to, like, being fucking scared, um... I don't know, man. It's just... I, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm just done living in fear of this shit. Like, I'm just done with fear. It's just, like, this is a possibility. Accept it. Wear your mask, and I'm moving on with it. Like, I can't... I can't I can't lose another year. Can't, I can't even lose another fucking month to this shit. Like, yeah, un- I mean, unless unless it becomes like like fucking ridiculously bad and like they do a fucking shutdown again, like, and I have to stay home, you know, kind of thing. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. not. I'm not doing it. So I have this. I have my my Eric Eric. Uh, I beat it once. I can beat it again. I do. 
And I was like, okay. And then, you know, everybody that I care for has been vaccinated, so. Oh, well, mostly. I know Eric has it. He doesn't want to. Yeah. My nieces and my nephews and my moms, they, they all got the, the fucking two shots. Boom, boom. Oh, so, you know, I just, I, you know what it was is that people, I went to our local grocery store and nobody was wearing masks. I can't people. Yeah, it's... not that fucking hard. It's it, not. It's, re- it's really not. And that makes me worry, you know. I, I, like, I'm, I don't want to wanna be around people. Yeah, I yeah. Know. I I mean, and I was like, oh, I have those, I have those cheapy fucking Walgreens blue and white masks, the, mm-hmm. the surgeon ones. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm just, I'm gonna cop up some cash and get some N95s because I know Texas doesn't care about it no more. Mm-hmm. They don't want to wear the mask. Which I'll be a little, it's like, just a little. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I mean, honestly, my brother just buys the N95. He's like, hey, I'm going to you know order some more. Do you want some? I'm like, yeah, just get me like, you know, $30 worth or whatever I have. And just, you know, PayPal him. And he just, mm. he, he just pays it from there. But it's, um, it's just, it's, it is what it is. And at this point, you know, I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to get back. Not like I had, like, an exciting life before, but, like, you know, fucking... Hey, you never know. You want, you've been cooked up for you. You kind of want to go out a little bit. Yeah. You have. Yeah. So, you know, oh, I went yeah. to the movies, went to go, you know, uh, eat at a restaurant. You know, th- those types of things that I enjoyed beforehand and, you know, going to... Back to normal. Yeah, exactly. You know, fucking... The, the urge to kind of, uh, you know, on weekends being like, you know what? Fuck it. The weekends Let's are for let... me and the boys. Exactly. It's it's more like, you know what? What are my weekends? like For, for the longest time, it was like, you know what? I'm going to stay in and like paint. And I'm like, I can still do oh, that. Yeah. I can still do now that. The boys. But now it's just like, I should I should maybe be doing other things. I should... I should um, I should have hey, some, I should have I should have some stories to tell. You sound like a grown ass man. Monday to Friday, don't fuck with me on work. Yeah, but exactly. Saturday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. Oh, Friday. I'll give you Friday afternoon, mm-hmm. Saturday, and early Sunday. It's party hard. Exactly. It's just like I'm. I'm just done. Like so much so that I'm like, uh, I'm thinking like oh, maybe I should go to a bar. Like maybe I should like get maybe I should get some drinks. We catch up, go? catch up with some people. Just... Yeah, that's oh, that's a possibility. Like... People, no. It's it's catching up with people, right? but if there's fucking if there's if there's some chick that you know want to holler there's at, then... yeah, if there's a sushi out there, okay. that's Let's like what's up? You're like hey, <laughs> like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I know, I know, I got a little fat, but what's up? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. It's, it's that Rona fifteen or whatever the fuck. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Do we have any comments, Rona? Uh, on youtube.com slash rimworks yeah our social media on instagram do we have comments there? we do not <laughs> or do we have an email you know at citypod88 at gmail.com we do not we have any, any emails at citypod88 at gmail.com nor do we have any comments uh oh, no. so no no we, we actually... I mean, if, if anybody listening if they made it this far if you want to again youtube.com slash rimworks go ahead and drop a you know there. Yeah, and if you're listening, you know, if you're listening your anywhere else, you, you know, like our Spotify you know <laughs> or our fucking, you know, iTunes or whatever podcast app you're listening on, uh, SoundCloud, hey, anything hey, like hey. that, just fucking. Do you know anybody that wants to listen to two depressed, sad, and anxious fat guys? Well, I don't. And you know what? Like if you want to be on the fucking podcast, just let us know. Cause I'm good. Fuck. Hmm? Well, we'll set up you on the Discord, and we'll let you do whatever you want. Yeah, we'll just fucking talk to you. I'm good. Fuck. I mean, if, you if, do do you got us. a story? Because I'm not. I don't fucking have. So I went to go see a movie. That was my story. <laughs> I we still got happy. We, I say we had decent conversation. Girl, we did. I think we did. I mean, but if you want to come up here, I mean, you two don't care about us. Nah, you know? nah. You just say whatever you want. They don't care. Nah. We're not. We're not making. Like, we're, we're not making a money yet. Once we start making yeah. the money, then they'll start caring. But until then, it doesn't matter. But for now, but for now, Roman. Mm-hmm. In episode 220 of the City Podcast. Mm-hmm. And we are your hosts. I'm telling you, and he is. Roman. 
And, like we say at the end of every episode, bye. Bye.